What is going on, everybody? We are here. We are ready to go. It is. Well, it says raining is about to stop. I have no idea what the temperature is outside, but it is not good. We've got 401 on the clock. I know I'm not on the camera yet, but it will be here in two seconds. Who the heck we got in here so far? We got Chris first in the chat. Good afternoon, Nick F. Chris, Nick F. Good. Chris, uh, Paul, ignore. Oh my gosh. Ignore Amos. What's going on, Moji? Paul, Clay, bro, ignore. I'm telling you guys, I you want me to ignore? I will ignore. Frank, Mina, ignore. We've got it's next level. Clay, bro. Uh, Paul, Clay, bro, Clay, bro, next level. Ignore Clay, bro. We've got next level. Clay, bro. Paul, next level. Clay, bro. Next level. Next level. Ignore Clay, bro. Paul, next level. Next level. Clay, bro. Next level. Next level. Ignore. We've got ignore. Mister. Uh, next level. Pat, what's going on, man? Ignore. Ignore Clay, bro. Clay, bro. Ignore Pat. Clay, bro. And Brandon. My gosh, what is going on, guys? No ignore on that one. Never ignore on that one. Give me two seconds here. I'm gonna click the upload button, and then we will. Be be ready to go. All right, crypto news. Uh, got him. Got him. All right, now we got to turn this camera on and we'll be ready to go. All right, flip it over. Yes, turn it around. Flip it over, turn it around. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Boom, baby, we are here. I promised we were here, man. You guys didn't believe it, but we are here. And we already know what's going on in the market. AMC sitting in the top left-hand side of the screen, closing the day down 2.5% today. Shiba Inu coin sitting in the top right-hand side of the screen, literally doing nothing all day today. 88 points per coin. GameStop sitting at 2060 at the close. Bitcoin sitting at 17,426, down 2% on the day. The NASDAQ getting ripped today nasdaq sitting at 10 8 10 it is down 3.23 percent huge down day your therapeutics 1749 down four percent of the day ethereum shiba doge and bitcoin all in the red today sundial closing at 20 or 227 mullen auto 31 cents. Not bad, but it was up earlier, up higher earlier. 8 cents on CEI. The SPY sitting at 389. BBIG sitting at 62 cents. Highcroft Mining, 50 cents per share. Netflix, 290. Terra Luna Classic. Oh, man. Terra Luna Classic barcoding like crazy right now. Uh, sitting at 16.230. QQQ, 276.89. And Ape closing the day at 82.20. It is low on that one. We will watch Bitcoin play out there. What do we got? We got Patrick. Thank you very much for the super chat. Patrick says, no ignore. Drink, as my babushka would say. Drink. 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 I will drink. Pat, man, thank you very much for a little bit of a... Authorized hydration, man. It feels good when it's authorized. It feels great when it's unauthorized. But you might choke when it's unauthorized. You only want that authorized hydration there. Next level, man. I see. I got the. Uh, I got your address there. Good to go on that one. And if Ronald is in here, I do see that Ronald sent me a message on uh, Twitter. Ronald sent me a message on Twitter. So Ronald and Next Level, you guys are good to go. Uh, we're going to be doing another t-shirt giveaway this afternoon, so make sure that if you guys are in here right now, you're in here at the afternoon, at the end of the afternoon live stream. So strange, I couldn't get a fill on rolling out one of my uh, group's cover calls. I wanted to roll for buying more AMC shares at a discount to uh, open more cover, <laughs> of course, to open more covered calls on. Nice, Frank, but it is strange, man. Next level came on, what's happening? You owe Mo. I do. What do I owe Mo? Banana? the gray shirt but not to worry I'll wash it with my what oh my god uh, da, 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 da. was it a banana did he tell me what it was was it a banana that I owe Mo oh yeah a little lick and stick action Mo G man you take that banana you peel that banana you tilt the head back a little bit you lick it and you stick it I contact man the most important part Mo G man Thank you very much for the proper demonstration of how to lick and stick a banana. My goodness, man. I miss Natalie. Natalie, if you're out there listening right now, whoo, do we miss you. Dark Bro was having an AMC down. That's more of a shocker than the actual shocker. I'm telling you, man, AMC down. Who would have guessed it?
Ape down, who would have guessed it? Crypto down, who would have guessed it? Everything is down, man. Thank you, Clibra. Fellow bros, congrats earlier. Heck yeah, man. Next level, boom, baby, pudgy, boom, baby. I'm just angry with crypto. John Jay, aren't we all? Yeah, look, I, I am angry with crypto as well. I'm angry with the stock market as well. It, it, it's been down, dude, for just a full straight year. And that is tough to swallow. But you've got, you've only got uh, two choices to make, man. It's either be angry and view it in a negative light that it's going down, or you can view it in a positive light that says, okay, well, 2022 wasn't the year that we became millionaires. 2022 was the year that we set ourselves up to become millionaires. And, and it, it is true that the bear markets, they are what produces the, the wealthy. If you can make it through and accumulate during those bear markets, everybody will wish that they did what you did. It's like the guys who stacked Ethereum at 100 bucks during the 2020 lows. It's the, like the guys who stacked Ethereum at $5 during the 2017 lows. It's like the guys before us that we wish we would have done. It is the, it is, it's going to happen during the next bull market. They are going to wish that they would have just participated. And I don't care if they're 19-year-old kids and, and they were wishing that they were able to do it, but they couldn't because they were 17 at the time. They'll have their chance as well. You know, they're going to have their chance as the market rolls out and the future unfolds. But it, it is inevitable, man, that people are going to wish that they took advantage of the opportunity the same way that we are taking advantage of the opportunity. That is the positive light that you have to manually force yourself to, to view the world in if you don't want to look at this in a negative manner. Don't worry. Be happy, Clay. Every little thing is going to be all right. Pudge, er, uh, not pudgy. No, ignore. Dark bro. It, it, sounds like, it sounds like that's familiar, man. That sounds familiar to me. Did you just make, up, did you make that up yourself or you come up with something in there? Hello, I'm from Nigeria. Shahid Umar. Hello from Ohio. Nigeria is very far away, dude, but I, I do. I look at my analytics, and I see that I do have some Nigerian viewers. So I appreciate that. I have no idea how you guys find my channel in Nigeria, but, but thank you, man. Share the channel with as many family and friends as you possibly can. And Shahid, man, welcome. Glad to have you in here. And I do. I think it's crazy that you're all the way over in Nigeria watching right now. But thank you. Heck of a week, Rich. Yes, it has been. Welcome. Look at this. Welcome for Shahid, man. I love it. Patrick. Thank you very much for the super chat. Hey, bro. Penalty for missing Moe's banana fund. Oh, no. I saw a banana. This is a penalty. We do it twice. You lick it and you stick it. Thank you very much, Patrick, for the penalty right there. And because of it, drink. We will drink. feels so good man it feels so good pat man thank you for the other authorized hydration and the penalty dang it man sign me up man sign me up no bro it's a song no i know it is i know it is dark bro that's why it sounded familiar of all days tesla is green <laughs> yeah crypto rocketeer man i didn't see that tesla finish green today but that is hilarious tesla finishing slightly higher Looks like it's just bouncing on its way back up. Not coming all the way down to that 150, 150 support that we talked about. But but it is bouncing today. And it is funny that it's bouncing half percent on a day that, that the market got slaughtered, man. With the NASDAQ being down 3%, that's a huge down day. Crypto all down today. AMC down, GameStop down, literally everything down today. Hey, except for Tesla, man. Tesla's making a little bounce. Not mad at the market. Annoyed with people that keep trying to keep me, us, poor. And yes, annoyed, not jealous of people getting paid rich to, for, uh, for doing nothing. Yeah, dude. No, it is true, man. It is true. Because we all know, right? We all know that if, if we are successful in the sense that we no longer have to participate in their in their labor force essentially they lose the game if if they lose the players and they don't want to lose the players man they want to keep us in the game so 
Chris, you're absolutely right, man. And that is a way to look at it, but I'm going to tell you this right now. You can bust out. You can break out. You can become your own player in your own game. And that is what we are doing, man. That is what we are doing. We we are meant to be our own players. We are meant to be productive. We are meant to, to live the lives that we were made to live. I don't know. Hey, and that's not to say some people love, some people love going to work and, and having that kind of routine and stuff like that. But yeah, Chris, you're, you're meant to break out, dude. And you will. Let's see. Uh, how about Lunk? You know what, Shahid? Terra Luna Classic is down a little bit right now, and it is barcoding. This means right here that it, it, it this does not look normal on the graph with these candles going from 17 all the way down to 15. So something is going on with, with Weeble's pricing here. But nonetheless, Terra Luna Classic's price action has been relatively stagnant and correlated to the overall market which indicates that there's not enough interest in the project alone to drive it higher or lower. It's following the overall market and following the big money. So hopefully the Terra Luna Classic developers are, are able to develop something and not just slowly beginning to siphon money out of the community pools. But we're going to have to see how it plays out, man, because I really don't like the way that, that they're doing things right now. But what, what am I going to do about it, you know? I'm telling you, we must make a Brocoin reality. That dream I had, Brocoin is trading at $450. Oh my gosh, dude. Could you just imagine? Could you just imagine? Even if there was only a million coins outstanding, dude, and it's trading at $450. 450 stinking million dollar market cap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I would love it, Dark Bro. I would love it. I have to wait till next year to change my name again. Pudgy, I hope that is not true. Don't change your picture, man. Don't change your picture, so then I'll know it's you. But otherwise, uh, technically, I'll know it's you. But no ignore by clay, bro. I will be calling you Pudgy. You dream big, Dark. You dream big. He does, man. And I like it. You got to dream big. Otherwise, you're not dreaming at all. What kind of a dream is that if you're not even doing it? Still shoveling snow. I, what? How much snow you been sho shoveling, Sky Stonify? Yeah, we're, Pudgy's ignoring us for real. My question, steel being ignored? No, it is not, man. It is not. I'm telling you, Brocoin would kill next level. We're going to have to do it, man. We're going to have to do it. Because I do think the Brocoin would kill it as well. If everybody wants a Brocoin, we'll make a Brocoin. Patrick, thank you very much for the Super Chat Pad says. As Oprah would say, you get a discount, you get a discount, you get a discount. Clay gets a hot dog and a coffee. Ooh, yes. How do you eat a hot dog? You dip the hot dog. You dip the hot dog. I actually want a hot dog, right? You guys are making me want a hot dog. After you're done dipping your hot dog, hopefully in some case, so you shove it in one bite. Thank you very much, Pat, for the, the super chat there. And the beautiful hot dog. Oh, and some authorized hydration. Oh, yeah. It's good stuff, man. That's some high quality H2O. Now, that's some high quality H2O, Pat. Thank you very much. Hey, Glenn, bro. I need an XL shirt. Gain 10%. Hmm. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Tim's getting 10% over there. I see you, Tim. What's going on, man? XL shirt. Tim, dude, XL shirt. Exchange for some barbecue. Let's make it happen. I say we make it happen. When Bronson. Where is Bronson, man? I don't even know. All right, two and a half feet of snow at the end of my driveway this morning. <laughs> that's a lot of snow, man. Did they plow it right, right across your driveway, and that's why? That sucks when they plow you in like that. Oh man, doesn't it? Hello everyone. Thank you, Clay. Got my shirt. Loving it and wearing it this weekend. Very nice. DD214. Nice gain on Mullen sale, Tim. D did Tim sell? Tim, did you sell? Did you did you take your profit? Oh my gosh, Tim. If you took your profit, man, you killed it. You doubled your money. John J. Thank you very much for the super chat. Don't stop believing. Hold on, streetlights. Hold on, streetlights, people. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Dude, I have to sing what you write, man. And that is just, I don't even know if that's how that song goes. But we we won't stop believing, streetlight people. Yes, John J, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Loving it, dude. And I know you're loving it, too. I know you're loving it, too. One three putt, Bones. One three putt. Mo just took profit. Dang, dude, 18 cents. 
to 30 stinking cents. This dude walking away with almost double his money. Tim, beautiful, man. Beautiful. John Jay is on a journey. Oh, that he is. That he is. Love my bro shirt. Dark bro. Nice, man. I really like the fact that you guys are loving your bro shirts. That is awesome. I think we butchered it together, but I liked it. We did, man. We did. I, I can't let you take all the credit for butchering that. I, I definitely had something to do with that butcher there. I did, man. I come to Butcher Bro for nothing. Scott Stone to five. I feel your pain. I'm getting ready to go start shoveling a path through four feet of snow. Dude, four feet of snow, that's a lot. I don't know if I've ever seen four feet of snow. I've seen a lot of snow before, but I don't know if I've ever seen four feet of snow. Like, not, like not snowboarding or something. Uh, like at my house. I don't know if I've ever seen four feet of snow. That's a lot, dude. Heard a rumor. Mullen is in the hunt for military non-tactical vehicle. I, dude, I don't know if... It, I haven't heard the rumor. It could be true, but I have no idea. Might go rake some rocks later. Arizona life, baby. Arizona... It, Moji, man. Has it ever snowed where you live? Actually, I don't know if you've lived in, in Arizona your whole life or not, so... Is it ever snow where you currently live? Let me put it that way. Is it ever snow where you currently live? Because you don't even have to deal with it. Four foot king, where are you? Alaska! Post big in the Discord. King Mamba, do it, man. Do it, because I would actually... If you want to post it now, I'll look at it now. I don't know if I've ever seen four feet of snow, like just at my house or anything. Obviously, I've seen four feet... You've probably seen 15 feet piles at like the, the stores when they, they plow their yard and put it up... In or plow their yard, plow their parking lot, and put it up in the parking lot. But I don't know if I've ever seen just four feet of snow on the ground. That is wild, dude. Sky Stone Five. I'm in Alaska. Yes, you are. We are just getting layers of ice, not snow. Oh, dude, layers of ice is dangerous, and it's, it's not good, man. When you got layers of ice on the road and you're slipping everywhere, that's terrible. Uh, especially on your driveway. If you get a steep driveway or something. Nah, dude, ice is bad. Held about half an inch. Does that count? No. Mm -mm. Hail doesn't count. Hail's kind of weird, dude. One time in the summer, it, it hailed like golf ball size, baseball size hail. And I had just graduated high school. That day sucked, dude. I remember it. I, I remember it. We were outside. Uh, playing basketball, man, in the driveway. And, and all of a sudden, it starts hailing. I think this was back in 2007. Yeah, it had to be 2007. I thought one of the neighbor kids, like, threw an ice cube over into the driveway. It was, like, trying to hit us with ice cubes. No, it was the sky throwing ice cubes down at the ground. And this is, this is June or July of 2007, man. And then I saw a couple more ice cubes fall in the yard. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, man. It started hailing like crazy. And uh, I, had a, I had a Mustang, convertible Mustang at the time. Dude, it didn't shatter the windshield or anything. But I had to get a new convertible top. By the time I got it into the garage, it just started ripping down, and, and I had to get a new top. I, there was like three or four holes that just went right down through the top on that thing. It was, dude, that was wild. Those were some big hail. They were like this big hail. They were nuts. Oh, where we at? I'm thinking mom we'll still hit 40 to 45 before the end of the year. I shall wait and see. Frank, that's your te is that your profit target or what you got 40 45? I'm in Seattle so much snow. Yeah, it seems like um seems like Washington's got a lot of snow right now, Walter. It seems like Walter or uh, Washington's got a lot of snow. I think Sky Stonifies over there in the northern west coast and then uh Dark Bro over in Washington as well, man. You guys got what, a lot more snow than usual or something? Seems like you guys got way too much. Having it depends on how it's used to get. Whether I say it counts or whether it's a lot. What are we talking about, Gorilla? Posted a pic in the supporters chat. Ooh, let's see here. Yeah, dude, King Mamba, man. Uh, 
I can't tell that's necessarily four feet, but that does look like a lot of snow, man. 4.20 Eastern Time. It is 4.21 Eastern Time is what I am seeing. I was in Cleveland at this time two years ago for work. Man, snow in Ohio is no joke. Yeah, snow in Ohio can be no joke. Sometimes it can be a joke, though. But it's not really. Like, the good thing about it is if you get snow in somewhere like North Carolina or something where people have no idea what snow is, you guys don't have the infrastructure to, to plow the roads and salt the roads and stuff like that. That's kind of embarrassing when you got to close, close down because you got a little dusting or something. But you guys need some more salt trucks, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, but no, dude, I, I hate when it snows a lot and then it's dangerous and things like that. Snow's nice, but the, like the, the disgusting and the danger and the ice... I don't like that when things get dangerous. My family moved here from Missouri in the summer of 77. I was convinced the blizzard of 78 was the end of the world. <whistles> well, Tim, I can I can honestly tell you I was not here for the blizzard of 78. But that does sound pretty dangerous, man. Puff, puff, pass. Whatever that means. Uh, seen it, King. Wow, that's some snow, right? <laughs> that is some snow, man. Uh, let's see. It's why the propane it sucks, bro. I have an auto parts store and the best knowledge of the industry. So if you ever need parts, we should just hit me up. Take care, bros. I have no idea what we were talking about with J Bones there. Got to return it. Oh, J Bro. J B. J Bro said. J B said something. Uh, half inch two toe. Got to return it. Oh, gotcha. So he's getting batteries for something. First car. I missed it. I missed the whole thing there. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, bro. We ain't seen this much since 08. It's ridiculous, dude. It's ridiculous. You guys been... And we have no snow. We had, like, one day of a little powder, but then it melted by the end of the day. We got nothing going on here in terms of snow. Hey, check DM on the Discord. Ooh, I will, man. I will. dude hey king mamba man if that's your house that looks sweet dude it looks like you got a lot of land all those pine trees around i mean that looks like alaska to me dude that looks like alaska it looks freaking beautiful too much snow but it looks beautiful dude not gonna lie i like it but i wouldn't want to deal with all that snow Let's see. No Bogart. Whatever that means. Ah, uh, let's see where we at. 1969 had four feet in Spokane, Washington. Moji, I, you were not around in 1969. Come on. You're just looking stuff up. You're just looking stuff up, dude. Is Moji around in 1969? How old is Moji? Like 90? It's cool, though, because snow in Ohio is steady rather than a wet and icy. Yeah, well, sometimes it can be wet and icy if it's... If it's Kind of, kind of warmer out, but I don't like the wet and icy stuff. I do like normal. Normal snow doesn't bother me, but I don't like the slippery wet stuff. Living in Augusta, Georgia, for in 2003 for an ice storm. You want to talk about non some non drive? Yeah, Frank. The Georgia is even worse than North Carolina. Tend to have a lot of wintry mix in Missouri, which makes it more dangerous. Yeah, dude, the more dangerous it is, the worse that it is. What do you think? The spy is heading short term. Justin, I'm not going to lie, dude. I think everything, not just the spy, is heading down in the short term. Uh, I don't think that we're over the inflation concerns, the interest rate concerns, uh, the cryptocurrency, centralized exchange concerns. I don't think that we're done with, with those issues yet. And because I don't think we're done with those issues, I think that we go down even further. Gosh, dude, I don't know who Kombu is, but Kombu's got a picture of a, a crazy path with his dog in there. My gosh, that's got to be a wild truck. Uh, what's up, Edgar? How you doing, man? I was eight. Oh, gee. Oh, gee, you were eight in 1969. You were born in 61. Is this true? Moji lying to us right now? I don't even know. Let's see. Outdoor. Oh, gosh, dude. I... Oh, outdoor smile. I cannot. There's not enough room to do that, man. There's not enough room to do that. King Cartwheel. Thank you, outdoor smile, for the. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, outdoor smile. Thank you very much the king cartwheel. Honestly, there's not enough room to do a cartwheel in here and I can't, I can't do it. I am li I do have limits, man. I do have limits. I can't levitate. There's not enough room to cartwheel. So thank you very much. King cartwheel, I did try. Outdoor smile. Very very sorry on that one. I know you took a chance. But literally, this is all the room that I got. No cartwheel is taking place right here. I'm stuck in a desk and it's stuck in between a desk and a wall. Kumbu's meat. Oh my god. Sky Stonify, man. You got a lot of snow too. You guys got way too much snow. Good, Brody. What's going on, Edgar? Uh, 4 by 4 stud in your tires. Winter fears me. As it should, Tim. As it should. Let's see this one. Yeah, Richie. I know you guys wanted to see that one, but that one cannot take place. Very, very sorry. Need a bigger office. Well, Rich, I could just move the, the thing over there, but then see the problem with having, if I move my desk over there, is that you guys would send cartwheels non-stop, and then I would have to sit here and do cartwheels and, and everything else all day, so I, I need as little space as possible to prevent me from having to do cartwheels and the such. Oh, where are we at? All right, back up on that one. Um, I love it. Born in Missouri and stationed in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Much snow in North Carolina now. Oh, not much snow. Okay. Yes, J-Bro. Is J-Bro not in the... Is J-Bro in the live? Alright, we'll, we'll see if JB's hanging out just in the Discord, man. I don't know what that guy's doing. He better be in the live here. I don't know why he's hanging out just in the Discord. Hey, bro! King of the cartwheel. Remind me of daughter's four-year-old gymnastics class. Perp. I can do a cartwheel, though. I can do a cartwheel, if you guys were wondering. I can't. I just... I, literally, this is... I don't know. It's probably five feet between the, the desk here and the wall there. Definitely not enough room to do a cartwheel. Yes, Patrick! Thank you very much for the super chat, Patrick says. Nice, outdoor. Now let's make Clay pee his pants. And this is true, man. I actually do kind of have to pee already, and we're only halfway through. Thank you very much, Pat, for the authorized hydration. Loving it, man. Oh. It's just a nice calm. A nice calm that takes place right after some authorized hydration. That it feels good. It really is, man. I like it. Uh, later, King, King Mom, are you leaving? Okay, bros, I shall see you later in the Discord. Ah, King Mom, enjoy the rest of your evening, man, or the rest of your afternoon. It's not even noon for you. It's just noon for you. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day there, out, uh, King Mamba, and, and shovel. Shovel some fun, man. Shovel some fun. What's your, ooh, what's your favorite crypto? You know, I don't know what my favorite crypto is. The crypto that I have seen gain the most in my portfolio was Ravencoin. It, that was a nearly a 28x gain. Um, and that was 2020, beginning of 2021 there. I believe the beginning of 2021. I don't think it was 2020. And then uh, my first crypto, aside from messing around with Bitcoin for a minute, was Zcash, so I, I, I'm particular to Zcash as well, but honestly, man, as far as, like, favorite cryptocurrency, I don't know, I don't know if there's necessarily one that's like, ooh, this is my dead favorite, you, you know, they kind of all got something that, that's going for them, F first crypto with Zcash, and, and biggest gainer with, with Ravencoin, and stuff like that, it, you know, you kind of got to break it down that way. I don't necessarily have one favorite. 2018, Ford Sport Titanium, four-wheel drive, and knowing how to drive, I send Winter Storm to their bedroom without dinner. Nice, Frank. That actually sounds pretty good, man. Winter Storms ain't bothering you. King Mom, stay warm and be safe. Ah, stay warm for sure, dude. Especially four feet of snow. Uh, the crypto... Oh, God, dude. The crypto and Voyager, yes. The, the crypto and Voyager is like my hostage crypto. So that could turn into to some of my favorite crypto after hopefully it gets released without any injury by those that are currently holding it hostage. That'll have a, that'll have a sentimental value to me as well. So that'll be my USDC 
Uh, I know my VGX is going to be trashed that's in there. I know that's not going to be worth anything. Uh, but the USDC that I got in there, that should be worth something. That's going to be my hostage story on that one. Diffy Dog! What's going on, Diffy Dog? Sup, y'all? Today's a sad day. Withdraw my crypto. Heard some news earlier today that had me in shock. I really wanted to believe this. It sucks, but taking the L. Divvy Dog, man. I feel you. I feel you. Taking the L does suck, okay? I'm going to ask you this, though. Do you plan on getting back in? Like, do you, do you plan on getting back in at some time? Or have you completely given up on cryptocurrency? Because if you plan on getting back in, you're not necessarily taking an L. You're preventing further loss from taking place. Uh, and I don't think there's a problem with that. If you, if only if you plan on getting back, if you just get, have given up, then yeah, man, you took the L and move on, and and you know next chapter in your life or whatever. But if you do plan on getting back in, I don't consider it taking a no. I, I consider it preventing further loss, and in a willingness to get back in at another time. Ah, uh, let's see, Frank seventy seven four F two fifty high boy sitting with a six foot lift with thirty eight inch tires. I'm gonna make it. God, dude, that's a big truck, Tim. Jeez. Stopped by for a like. Now back to hiding the discard. J Bones, man. Thank you very much for clicking that like button. Dog. Tired. But once you get a number like that, you take it as a challenge to try and make it to that even number. Dang it. I know I missed something. Oh, late comment. Still working. But during snow season, I turned into a machine. Last year, worked 72 hours straight, snow pay. Was trying to get to 80, but they cut us off. Gosh, dude. Chris, that is a machine, man. That That is a machine. When you start to work like that, you have to turn yourself into a different mentality if you're going to be working 72 hours, 80 hours. And things like that, man. So, dude, we know what Chris has. We, we know Chris has what it takes to, to do some hard work there. So when his protection, J-Bones. Ah, he might just be. I was stationed in North Carolina for three years and only snowed once. Okay, we get a few flakes. Uh, not even a dust thing. Uh, but the base shut down that evening. Oh, my. Yeah, dude. Everything shuts down in, in North Carolina when when you get a little bit of a dusting man tiktok guy posts in video of air watered power or air water powered engine my guess is he will have an accident sometime soon yep and it won't be an accident man you can guess it it's not an accident hidden garden film clay bro you're the man you're the man hidden garden appreciate you speaking your mind and not holding back we may be two to three year hold but the bounce back could be the best to come i think it will yeah, Hidden Garden, man. I, I do think that it will be the best to come, right? And, and a lot of people are going to get deterred by that. A lot of people are going to stop watching YouTube videos. They're going to stop being interested. They're going to stop posting on Twitter. They're going to give up and all of that stuff. And I get it. it. It's the it's the cycle that needs to be. But when the bull market, when the runs and the run begins again, ah, dude, they're, they're going to wish that they were the ones that, that held out through and we're able to buy even if it's not ridiculous amounts man they're gonna wish that they were able to accumulate during the the bear market hey y'all had to travel yesterday so i gave you a chance now i'm back to win another shirt dang it emma if emma wins again i know if emma wins again i'm gonna agree with simon i know it's rigged at that point if emma wins again Pat B, I was in Lejeune for a snow. It was like watching four monkeys on Greg trying to. Oh my god, dude. Tim, I don't even know how you just made that up. Is that something you've thought about before? Ah, I hear that, Chris. Snow season is a feast or famine. 878 million wiped down on the stock market today alone. Bye bye to a billion dollars, man. It, isn't that crazy? And it, it, just gone. Just gone, dude. It doesn't go to anybody else. It's just gone at that point. That's the tough part, Pudgy. That's the tough part. The hogster in the house, baby. What's going on? Ah, uh, and need wheels. Come on, bear market. I'd settle for a tractor in this wind in this weather. You'd settle for a tractor. Like you need a car. Is that what you're saying? But you'd settle for a tractor. Dark, dark nor. How you doing? Hopefully good. Oh, Dark Ignore, is that what you're saying? Bro, I think my Raven coins are going to be are gonna be Rally Coin, Tectonic, and a couple others. Yeah, very well could be, man. I, I don't think it's going to be that hard to see something like, like Tectonic and some of these other coins that are beating down like crazy right now. Rally. 
to a 20 a 20x gain or a 28x gain and stuff like that man with a 10 million dollar valuation let's see where tectonic currently is i don't even know where it's at i haven't looked at it in like a week Ninety four, so it is down a little bit more than where it was uh, prior. So sitting at a ten million dollar market cap, ninety four, nine hundred and forty, nine hundred and thirty points per coin on that. Um, go one month graph here. Gosh, dude, I can't believe it's already been like uh, October is when it had that rally there, but coming down and looking like it may touch some fresh new lows here, sitting at nine hundred and thirty points per coin. It may break down this this ninth, 930, 920, whatever it was at here, points to, to come down even further. If they minted more coins though, I feel like this had a nine million dollar market cap and now it's got a now it's got a ten million dollar market cap with a slightly lower price than before. I don't know if anybody knows whether or not they minted more coins or not. Because I don't remember what the circulating supply was before. But yeah, Tectonic looking like it's getting hit pretty hard there. But dude, absolutely could rally nicely when the bull market begins. And it's not too hard for a $10 million uh, project to, re to reach a $100 million project. Let's see. If a teammate this time, something. Nah, Clay, I'm not dropping out to stop losses. What I heard today, and the shakedown now that SBF has been officially charged, is going to be carnage. The paper trail implicates every exchange. So, what are you saying, Divi Dog? Get off these exchanges? Because, I, I mean, I agree with that part. Hey bro, I was a platoon sergeant in the Marines. Uh, that is an accurate description of all the privates. Every single... <laughs> oh, God, dude. Uh, I might agree with it, man. I, I don't know. All right, Cleveland is here. What's going on, Cleveland? Greta and Thomas Nagy, how you doing? Uh, we now call that a magical disappearance. Being Samafried. Samafried? Samafried. A magical disappearance. P.S. Everyone knows I'm not FUD. I love crypto. This isn't a crypto winter. This is the next ice age, and it may not recover. Dude, I think it'll recover. Come on, man. You really think it's that bad that it won't recover? Uh, do you think that maybe it'll get to the same level of decentralization that it started with? But but these uh, all these centralized exchanges are kind of going to be purged at that point? Or, or what are your thoughts there on that one, man? Like, do you even think that USDC, some of these stable coins, are, are going to be done for? Give us your thoughts, Diffy Doll. Give us your thoughts. Awesome, Gorilla. Thank you. And Tim, for yours. Something I'm stacking, Tonic. Not financial advice. Very nice, Tim. Came up. I quite, uh, with the, I quit with the rumble. You guys bought all the weapons. And the second time a cucumber killed me, It's call, I called it quits. I don't even know how to play Royal Rumble, man. I don't even know how to play Royal Rumble. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Heck yeah. Tectonic chart looks like my love life. Downtown in an early round. Always going down, swinging. Oh, man, that sucks, John Jay. Uh, let's see here. Shiba Inu coin sitting down 1.12% right now. Hey, look, dude, this is like, this is way too stagnant for Shiba. Shiba should not look like this. Nobody's trading Shiba right now. GameStop doing nothing after hours. AMC doing nothing after hours. Bitcoin on its way down a little bit after hours here. So we're going to keep our eyes on Bitcoin and, and Dogecoin. So actually, Dogecoin is selling off pretty pretty decent there. Um, Ethereum selling off as well. It's, it's kind of surprising that Bitcoin is slightly more stagnant than Dogecoin and Ethereum. But Dogecoin getting hit pretty hard here, selling off. Coming down to retest this double bottom. So we're going to have to watch and see if Bitcoin or Dogecoin here falls down below 8500 or eight and a half cents, I should say. Don't be dumb, Clay. Eight and a half cents here because the double bottom, if it double bottoms here, you know, it might be it might be forming some sort of a support level. But yeah, Dogecoin getting hit pretty hard. Bitcoin sitting at 174 at the moment. We'll watch and see how that plays out. And Terra Classic still barcoding, man. So 
Terra Luna Classic not really looking too good on the Weeble platform at the moment. Painful day! Long-term retirement portfolio closed down 1.57%, including Mon. Only three positions in the green. Good news is all the options are up 90 to 95%. That is great news, Frank. Hopefully SBF doesn't mysteriously die before he testifies about everything. Yeah, Lyman Dave, I was actually a little bit concerned about that, man. I don't think he's going to testify about everything, though. I really don't. I don't think that the I don't, I don't think that those people that he was kind of working with and for are are going to allow him to testify about everything. Outdoor smile. We've got a barbership fund. I need it, man. I like look at this. I need it. I need to cut my hair big time. It is long everywhere, man. Including I haven't even shaved in like a week. It's just getting out of hand, man. I know it is. It's getting out of hand, and we need to take care of this. Outdoor Smile, thank you for the haircut fund. We will definitely be making it happen. As a Navy CB, I spent more time on Marine bases than any other. I don't even know what a Navy CB is, dude. You guys know You guys know a lot, man. Uh, let's see. Monkey Football brings back memories. I don't even know what Monkey Football is. You guys know too much. You really know too much. Cool. Ignore. Yes. Thanks to you. Uh, thanks to you as well. Ignore Amos. I don't know what that for. Did you guys see the epic burn of Shib from the game? No. Pudgy. Did they announce a, a burn from the Shiba Inu coin game? Did they really announce? I don't know if they did. Din! Uh, VBS versus Tectonic. So, so look, I, I know that a lot of people are into the very, very safe finance or VBS, and also a lot of people are into Tectonic. More people in here talk about and, and are interested in Tectonic. So, based on popularity and what I see, I would say Tectonic is the way to go. But I don't know if, if necessarily one of those is going to like drastically exceed the other or or not we can look at vbs real quick to kind of see where its market cap is and and that stuff so it, it is already 10 times the size of tectonic vbs finance sitting at a hundred million dollar market cap and, and the price <clears throat> sorry price drastically lower than where it's been in the past so I don't know if that's because they've minted a vast amount of new coins, what the deal is, why it's so much lower, but VBS Finance is is like at all-time lows, right? Tectonic is at all-time lows, but you're looking at a project here with a $100 million market cap. Tectonic has a market cap of $10 million. So theoretically, Tectonic would have a, a higher chance to, to make those 100, 200x gains. If, if that's what you're looking for. Let's see. I have not heard about no burns from the ship game. Neither have I. Uh, my advice to everyone. First step, get off all exchanges. Now is the time to take your chips off the roulette table. Quarter one of next year will be too late. Oh, dang, dude. Bitcoin falling pretty hard here. Falling through that support. Dogecoin falling through that support. Gosh, dude. Diffy Dog might know something. Everything's falling. Er Everything's falling. Watch out. No, I don't know. A hey, quarter one of next year could be too late, man. It, it absolutely could be. Bro, go haircut live sometime. No, I'm not going to do that, man, because if I'm cutting my hair and you guys are live, you're going to be like, go to banana. You're going to be sending a super chat, $50. Uh, shave my name into the side of your head. Shave my I'm not shaving my name in the side of your head. I'm not shaving bro into the side of my head. Uh, no, nope, not going to be doing that stuff. So if I cut my hair live, I know that you guys are going to be throwing out requests and I am not going to be fulfilling requests by shaving stuff into the side of my head. Richard, thank you very much for the super chat. Tractor fun for me and ooh, bottoms up. I, you guys, I do have to pee, man. I'm not going to lie. Rich, thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Rich, man, thank you very much for the authorized hydration. Loving it. See what they did there. C, B, 
you see me sneaky squid. I have no idea what's going on, man. I'm riding my stuff into the freaking ground. Outdoor smile. There you go, man. Whole VVS too. Heavy and tectonic, but I picked up VVS as well. Not financial advice. Bro, breaking news. Someone pulled up on Elon. What do you mean? Tried to kill Elon or something? I don't even know what pulled up means. Does that mean they tried to kill him? My gosh, dude, is is that really breaking? Like, is that really news right now? Clear bro, it's to be more likely thirty five hundred first or four thousand. <sighs> to me, I'm gonna tell you more likely to go down first, man. If you're just looking at the the spy to indicate movement on the on the S&P 500 we're we're currently moving down at a very quick pace and and I truly believe that we test these levels okay I truly believe that we test these levels once again now do we bounce off this 362 low we absolutely could but I, I think that with the interest rate decision and this idea that we are going to have this significant period of, of high interest rates kind of restricting growth, I think that the market's going to act accordingly and, and we're going to see continuation to the downside. That's me, man. But, but it absolutely could pop up before we get there. Uh, some, some interim news could come in and, and drive prices higher. There is a lot that could happen before we go down. But I, I'm still short-term bearish, man. I'm still short-term bearish. Golly bum. Bitcoin. Bitcoin coming down. Bitcoin's got a frown. Patrick! Thank you very much for the super chat. I second that, Rich. Clay. Go pee. We'll wait for you. It is all right, man. It is all right. We can make it. 12 more minutes. We can make it. I know we can. Patrick, thank you very much for the Super Jet. Absolutely loving it. If I start sweating, I'll just go right here. It'll be okay. Okay, fine. No shaving. How about you just bleach cheetah spots in your... That will also not be occurring, MD. That will also not be happening. No... No cheetah spots, no shaving names into the side of my head, none of that, not gonna be, not, no, no, mm -mm, no. After a series of losing, losing trades, I went short on Bitcoin at 17.9, I'm letting it ride for now. Boom, old rounder, looking good at 17.3. Going short at 17.9, looking good at 17.3, and eight, man, I hope, and it does seem to be that way most often, right? Even though it's balancing right now, and you're like, ah, oh, I should have taken it, this could be hitting the bottom. It seems to be if you do let it ride for a little while, it always turns out uh, a little bit better. Stable coins, no pick and big term in my opinion. Who defines its stability? Nobody. It's a term minted by some crypto kid to build credibility. Crypto will only survive in a 100% regulated environment. Diffy dog. Interesting that you that you need some like 100% uh, certainty on regulation when regulation. Now, now break that down a little bit for me. Does regulation it, does that mean to you some sort of a centralization authority or does that simply mean li like regulating the the centralized exchanges because bitcoin and, and these other coins man they're designed to be truly decentralized which is is not necessarily governed by <clears throat> by regulation uh, I guess it could get rid of some of the bad actors, and, and I'm actually a little bit more of an advocate for less regulation in the sense of government control or or centralized control of the space, because I think that centralized control leads to greed and temptation, and then it could be downfall and, and actually cause more harm than good. But what's your definition of the, the regulation there? Is it is it government control of it? Making sure that, that they own the place or what? Clay, random question. The press secretary, she's full of crap. <laughs> yes. Look, man. Um, I know we don't get on to many, many political discussions or anything like that. But, yes. I don't like liars, man. It's not that it's not that hard to tell when somebody is just You know what? Let me put it this way. Okay? Let me put it this way. 
if some of these people who go on live streams in, in front of the press, in the news every day, if they actually believe some of the stuff that they say, th then they might, they, they might have some problems, right? But I also believe that these people, they've got a job to do. And, and they've got a very, very difficult job to do. And sometimes their job requires them to promote a, a certain viewpoint. And these people are very good at trying to convince themselves and everybody that they talk to of a certain viewpoint. And, and if that's the case, no. I think they're actually very good at it. I don't think it's a good thing. Like if I was just sitting here all day and I, I was like programmed to tell you crypto and stocks are only ever going to go up. They're going to pump and, and it's guaranteed to move higher. I could probably try and convince you guys of every positive aspect in, in crypto and stocks and so on. But eventually, man, when you spend a year of it going down and I'm, I'm sitting here, it is it is going up. It's no, it's actually going, it's, if you just look at where it was three years ago, we are much better off than where we, you know, if, if that's the idea, I wouldn't want to feed you guys crap all day long. And I don't want to insult your intelligence with that kind of stuff. But, you know, if somebody was paying me to sit here and only tell you that stuff was going up right now, and that's the job that I had to do, I would feel too conflicted to continue doing that. Other people don't. Patrick! Thank you for the super chat. Pat says, shave eyebrow fun? Just one? Half? No, man! Maybe one of those little, one of those little nicks in it. Like some of those guys. I don't know why those guys... Hit their eyebrow like that. Not happening, Pat. Nope, not shaving no eyebrows or anything like that. Uh, let's see where we at. Well, sh I got to keep this name 14 days. What the heck? <laughs> oh, my God. That's what you guys get for playing around with your names like that. Oh, my gosh. What happened to my stream? Just froze. I don't know. Where the bots? Where the bots? Cause I want to beat some bots. Beat them. My, Mr. Simon, get it. Growing it, it, might, it better. We got You should have everyone have who are sending a shirt to. Taking a selfie, wearing them. Creating a wall of bros. Just a thought. Yeah, Lime and Dave, man. I really like you guys sending these pictures out on, on Twitter and the Discord and stuff like that. Patrick, thank you for the Super Chat. Pat says, some love for Emma D's channel and a little bit more authorized hydration. Thank you very much. Patrick, and yes, Emma D, man, Emma D, Emma D's got a YouTube channel as well, guys, don't forget to show some love there, look, I know that Emma's got a channel, Paul Wright, he's got a channel, uh, Dark Bro, posting some very cool videos on TikTok, if you guys don't show some love to Stephanie Bro on TikTok, you should absolutely do so, uh, I know she goes live on there a lot, and, and has a great time, I've been doing a lot of battles with her, going back and forth, having some fun, Everybody that is is trying to make a go of it doing something, please show a lot of support. Appreciate every single one of you guys that does that. I agree that centralization uh, drives greed. Yet yeah, those advocating decentralization just wanted to uh, just watch SBF Trump made off in the space of five years. Five years, man. This is all blood money in my opinion. It smells, bro. No, I agree with that. But I, I think that Sam Bankman Freed is also kind of like, uh, you know, with centralization and the, the, uh, the greed as well. But at the same time, dude, I really wonder, and you may wonder too, we're about to give a shirt away. So wonder this. I don't know if we'll be able to see your answer if we start spamming the chat here. But do you think, dude, if Sam Bankman Freed really was laundering money for some people up top, do you think that he was is being used or was being used in a way that he lost control of? You know, because when the greed steps in like that and you start to make bad judgment calls, uh, you may get too far involved. And you may not be able to get yourself out at that point. In the same way that you could do so with like the mafia or something, I guarantee you, man, I guarantee you, the government can be, in both sides, I guarantee you it could be worse than the cartel. I guarantee you it could be worse than the mafia. And, and I, I do wonder if, if SBF got a little bit too far involved with some of the stuff that he was doing and some of the players that he was helping there. Uh, let's see. It's your fault. <laughs> Ignorant. Yes, it's everybody's fault. I will never ignore you again, Pudgy. Nobody in here. <laughs> Guys, man. Boom. Spam the chat right now. We're going to be giving a shirt away. Please, please, please spam the chat right now. 
we are going to give that shirt away. So I'm going to go over here, click on the YouTube page, and then we're going to be giving a shirt away. Spam the chat. We're going to pick a winner. Here's the rules as you guys are beginning to spam the chat. If you do not live in the United States... You can still win the game, but you're going to have to pick somebody else to, to receive the shirt that lives in the United States. Um, I am currently out of 2x, 2 extra large and greater size shirts. So if you win, you're either going to have to have some patience and allow me to go to the store and get some more shirts. Or you can pick somebody else to, to receive uh, a smaller size shirt. Uh, I, I forget what the other ones are. Oh, you're going to have to be able to, to contact me. Discord, email, or Twitter to let me know where to send it. Um, hopefully somebody wins that wears a medium or a large. I got a lot of medium and larges left. You guys seem to be taking all of my extra larges and, and stuff. So I'm, I may be running low on extra larges as well. That poll we took, you guys, the vast majority of people said that you wore larges. So I buy the vast majority of larges. And then you guys want X's and 2X's. So... Good job. Spam the chat, guys. Keep spamming the chat. We're going to pick a winner right here and see who gets this shirt. Let's have some fun with it. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pin your name into the chat of the chat. If you win, all you're going to have to do is get in contact with me, and I will be sending the next, next batch of shirts out on Saturday. So here we go. All these blue names, guys. Get some gray names in the chat, man. What are you doing? Come on. Simon, slow down. It's, if Simon wins, my God, Simon's spoiling like crazy. If Simon wins, he is going to hes gonna have to pick somebody else because he's already got his shirt. So don't be discouraged if Simon wins. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. And picking, baby. Did I get one? I did not get one. And picking, baby. I did not get one. And we are picking. Did not get one. And we are... Oh, come on. Get on the... Yep, there we go. And we are picking. Nope. And we are picking. Come on, man. And we are picking. This is difficult. This is... Oh <laughs> my gosh, man. All right. We are going. Got one. I got one. I don't know who it was. I got one. I got one. All right. Mr. Simon did win, I guess, man. If you get enough entries in there, you're almost guaranteed to win. All right, so Mr. Simon, you got the thing. Here's the choice you have. Do I go again, or do you want the responsibility of picking who gets the shirt? Because you already have a shirt that is being sent out to you for having your diamond next to your name. So, Simon, what do we got here, man? What do we got? You picking who gets it, or do we go again? It's one of those, because you, you already got your shirt. You already got your shirt. So what's he got? Do it again, do it again, do it again. All right, Simon says, do it again. We are going again, guys. I am going to be replacing the pinned message. Continue to spam right now. We are picking a new winner. Simon, congratulations on winning that one, man. I, I almost was guaranteed to pick you, man. I saw your name like 100 times more than everybody else's name. So, guys, throw your names in the chat right now. We're going to be doing it again. Simon doesn't want... Dude, Simon, I swear to God, if you win again. All right, here we go. We are picking the name again. He is going, and we... Do we have one? No, we are going again, and do we have one? We do. Replace pin message. I don't know who got it. Let's see. Danell. Danell won that one. All right, perfect. Danell. Danell, I should have your address. You won that shirt right there. Very good. Um, You can message me on Twitter to confirm the, the address because I'm actually not 100% sure that I still have it. But Danell, the winner on that one, very nice. And... um. Yeah, just let me know on Twitter where I can, because I don't know if I have the address for sure or not, if I still got it. But that one, size, and then I will get it shipped out to you on Saturday. Perfect, man, perfect. And it is 5 o'clock, guys, so we are going to get off here. Keep the, uh, that was fun, man, that was fun. And Simon, dude, thank you very much for, well, you could have picked somebody else either, man, but, but thank you very much for playing, winning, and abiding by the rules. I like it. Congratulations, Danell. Loving it. Make sure that you send me a message on Twitter, what size, and, and where you want me to send it there. Uh, get your name in the chat again, guys. We'll do the shout-outs, and then we will be back with videos tonight. Patrick! Thank you very much for the super chat. Noise, Danell. Have a coffee on clay. Gosh, dude. Oh, 
I am hydrated today, man. Pat, thank you very much for the super chat. Loving it, guys. We'll do the shout outs right now. Watch the videos twice tonight, man. Watch both of them, whatever you got to do. Because it is, uh, the views are low, man. So just watch all that stuff. Appreciate you guys in advance, man. We got shout outs to Emma D, Pat, Mr. Simon, SD, Igner, Amos, Moji. I'm going to call you guys by your picture now. Nufo, I'm going to play the Manscaped kit. You did not, Nufo. Maybe you can win it next time. Moji, Danelle, Moji, Emma D. We got Dark Bro, Moji, Matthew, man. See you later, Lyman, Dave, Grill, Invictus, Cassie. See you later. Next level, we got Moji, uh, Simon, Old Rounder, Nufo, Danelle, Frank, Nick F, Stephanie, bro. Anybody else in here? Pudgy, man. Peace out to you, the franchise. Guys, see you later, guys. All of you, you know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Transparent trading in the franchise. All you guys, you know, you want to say it with me? Say it with me. Until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Tim! Thank you for the super chat. Tim says, much ignore and much no love for Tim. Tim, man, I will never ignore Tim in my entire life. Tim, you're amazing, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. Loving it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Watch this ignore. No, 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 dark bro. No, no, no. You are not being ignored, and you know it. That is not an ignore. It is never an ignore. But it leads to more shout outs. DD214, Cassie, Ign Emoji, not Ignoramus. Uh, we got Danelle, Next Level, Tim, Tim, Pat, Nufo, uh, Dark Bro, Pudgy, Cassie, Pudgy, Next Level, Pat, uh, Dark Bro. It's hard when you guys only got pictures in different names. DD214, all of you guys, you know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Moji, thank you very much, Moji, for the unicorn, man. We got a little unicorn horn right here. Thank. Oh, that's ow, that's a sharp one. I like it, Moji, man. <laughs> that's a really good horn. My goodness, Moji, man. Thank you very much for the unicorn. Absolutely love it, man. We got shoutouts to Cassie, Pudgy, Pudgy, Next Level, Pat. Uh, Dark Bro, DD214, Moji, man, Next Level, Auto Bro, Moji, Cassie. We got Old Rounder, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Until Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. What are we waiting for, Tim? Tell me what we're waiting for, man. I don't even know what we're waiting for. Tim, dude, thank you very much for the super chat. Moji, man, next level, Auto Bro. We got Moji, Cassie, Old Rounder, Tim, next level, Gorilla, Dark Bro, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Gosh, look how hairy that is. Thank you very much, Moji. Nobody else can touch that. Only Moji. Outdoor smile. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Outdoor Smile. Thank you very much for the 12 month member chat, baby. Loving that diamond next to your name. Moji, man. See you later. Danelle, Nufo. We got Dark Bro, a Pudgy, Emoji, Ramal. See you later. We got Dark Bro, Cassie, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.
<laughs> Damn, dude. Thank you very much for the King Pig, man. I love. I don't even like that one, but I still love it coming from you. And guys, when you have salt, you pour the salt out on the table and you throw it over your shoulder. But because salt tastes so good, you just got to give it a little. <laughs> but every time. It gets in your eyes and it stings, Moji, man. Thank you very much for the salt shaker, Tim. Thank you very much for the super jet. We got shout outs to Dark Bro, Pudgy, Moji, Rama. We got Dark Bro, Cassie, Tim, Moji, all of you guys. I'm pretty sure you don't know what time it is now, but I'll let you say it with me if you want to say it with me. Till the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. <laughs> Those came in so late, man. Moji, thank you for a little king. Thank you very much. And we got Lyman Dave grabbing that green name. Lyman Dave, man, very nice for grabbing that green name. Outdoor smile. Absolutely appreciate you giving it. I like it when there's only 16 people in here, too. It's almost guaranteed to win. Lyman Dave, congratulations. Throw a little thank you out there to Outdoor Bro right now. Outdoor Bro, man, thank you very much for the green name. Uh, Moji, man, thank you very much for the King Cow. Everybody loving it. We got shout outs to Danelle, Moji, Outdoor Smile, Lyman Dave, Pudgy, Moji, Nufo, Outdoor Smile, Esco, all of you guys. I think you know what time it is, man. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. <laughs> I thought it was over, but it's not over. <laughs> Oh, Pudgy, we got to do it again, man. <laughs> Pudgy, thank you very much for the super chat as well. You guys absolutely keeping it going, man. Shout outs to Moji, Outdoor Smile, Lime Day, Pudgy. We got Moji, Nufo, Outdoor Smile, Esco, Pudgy. Thank you very much for that. Lime and Dave, Moji, Outdoor Smile, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me, say it with me. Till the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Damn! Thank you very much for the King Fire Truck. <laughs> Thank you very much for the King Fire Truck. Tim, man, I don't know if that's a fire truck noise or not. Sounds like it is, though. Tim, man, thank you very much for the super chat. Loving it, guys. We got shout outs to Pudgy, Moji, Nufo, Outdoor Smile, Esco, Pudgy, Lima Dave, Moji, Outdoor Smile, Tim with the King Fire Truck, baby. Yes. Outdoor Smile, Cassie, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Thank you very much. Ah, ah,
Pudgy, thank you very much. <laughs> Pudgy, thank you very much, Pudgy, man. Love you. Pudgy, you're getting a little late on that one. I swear, man. I swear you're getting a little late. Uh, he says on time. I don't know. I don't know. Pudgy, you say on time. I say you were getting a little late on that one, dude. I think you know you were getting a little late, and that's why you said it was on time. Pudgy, man. Shout out to you, Tim Esco. We got no ignore. Oh, that is Pudgy. Nufo, man. King Mamba. Uh, Pudgy, Cassie. All of you guys. You know what time it is? Oh, you don't know what time it is. Maybe you know it. Oh, who the heck knows? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Ooh, oh, Pudgy Man. Ooh, thank you very much. For the super sticker, Pudgy, now that's a good one, man. That is a surprised face. That one was definitely on time. Thank you very much for the super chat. Loving it, Pudgy. And Cassie is absolutely right. You can't shut it down when the super chats keep coming in to keep you here. Tim, man. <laughs> Tim, dude, thank you very much for the super chat. We got shout outs to King Mama, man. Uh, Nufo, Pudgy, Cassie, Pudgy. We got Tim, Esco, Pudgy, Esco. All of you guys, Flavor Flavin, what's happening, Nufo? You guys know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.